Welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel my name is Jenna and in today's video we are going to be getting a lot of cleaning done some laundry and disinfecting as well so to start off with these are our bathtub and shower mats I know they are seriously so disgusting I need to wash them probably once a week and I wash them like every other week I know it's definitely not enough, especially the gray one. The gray one is in our shower. We don't have like a tub. It's just a standing shower. If you have been a subscriber for a while, you know, it's just standing shower. And so it's really gross. And sometimes we just forget about it. But in order to get this really clean, I like to go ahead and use bleach. And then I also use some Tide, you know, regular detergent. And what you saw in the beginning was I have found that using Dawn Power Wash, like on certain stains in your laundry or something like these mats, it seriously is such a game changer. So I have a Dawn Power Wash for my sink, and then I also have one for my laundry as well. But before we get started into doing more cleaning, don't worry, I washed my hands before I did this. My daughter Savannah wanted a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, had to get my girl a sandwich, and then we'll go ahead and get into some cleaning. <laughs> myself and my channel. My name is Jenna. I am a wife and a stay-at-home mom to two littles and I'm currently pregnant with baby number three. We are having a baby girl and she arrives next month, which is just so crazy to me. Time is flying. We also have three crazy dogs and on my channel you guys are going to find tons of cleaning, organizing, decluttering, and laundry motivation. Basically anything motherhood and lifestyle, that is what you are going to find on my channel. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, 
please make sure to hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing because I do post twice a week currently. I don't know how that's going to change once the baby is here, but also leave a comment down below because I love getting comments. I always respond to every single one of my comments and I love getting to know my subscribers. Normally, I would go ahead and put my KitchenAid mixer away, but as you just saw, I cleaned the bowl and everything to it, and I put my KitchenAid mixer down below in a cupboard that is kind of narrow, so it's a little bit hard to get down there, and I'm going to be honest, I dread putting it away while pregnant just because it is so heavy and it's so hard for me to bend down, get down on the floor on my hands and knees and try to get that KitchenAid mixer in there perfectly, especially with it being so narrow. So I'm not going to lie. I left the KitchenAid mixer there for my husband, Zach, for when he came home from work because I just did not want to put it away. I know that sounds so bad, but some things are just so difficult with pregnancy towards the end and if I can make it a little bit easier on me with like simple little things like that then I will go ahead and do that
take a moment to take in the satisfying moment that did not last long with my kitchen being clean. Oh, it just looks so nice. And it is now over with. It did not last long, sadly. guys have a Pembroke Welsh Corgi or just a small dog that licks the floor like crazy, please let me know in the comments down below. Trust me, I have Googled it several times, scared myself, talked to the vet, all the things, and he just licks the floor. Like there's no food on the floor right there. It's clean and I just, I don't get it. He will literally lick the floor all day long. Give him water throughout the day, give him food, treats, he plays. You know, we give him attention, and he just, he licks the floor. And it doesn't drive me nuts, but except for when the, like, the small little time frame that I get where, you know, the house is quiet, which doesn't last very long, but as soon as the house is quiet, like, I just soak it in for the couple of minutes that it is, and all I hear is Junior licking the floor. So please let me know if I... I'm the only one with a dog that loves to lick the floor. Never up, never down, never. Like a theme in a song. So I was going to disinfect my living room and all the kids' toys, and this is full. Like you can't hear it, but it's full. It has, it's like over half full. And it won't spray. See? Oh. Is it now spraying? Oh my gosh! We're gonna disinfect. Holy crap, that wasn't working a second ago. Oh! oh I'm clever. Feeling high, feeling low at the same time. Feel so right, then I'm wrong. Hoping I'll be fine. But I get up, I always do. I never think, I always do. Never thought I wouldn't jump, oh what a fool But if I fall, I would get up again
so I had to switch it up a bit. I needed to sit in this chair because my back and my body was just so exhausted from all of the cleaning that I just did that I needed to sit down and fold the kids laundry. I dread folding the kids laundry at my table like my dining room table just because those chairs are a little bit harder for me to sit in. I don't like sitting on my couch just because I don't have a lot of room with all the piles and such that I like to categorize and organize everything. So I decided to sit on my bar stool which is actually kind of cushy and comfortable and fold the kids clothes there while watching some of my youtube friends talk to me baby i've been waiting for a lifetime just keep on fading in all these photos caught in the memories and captured in the highlights just keep on wasting glass after glass i keep and that is going to be it for today's video I really hope that you enjoyed it and it gave you tons of cleaning laundry and disinfecting motivation and if it did please give today's video a huge thumbs up I would greatly appreciate it and I hope to see you guys in my next video bye Please.